spices and rubber. The precious cargo was shouldered across gangplanks by immigrant laborers known as coolies, whose blood, sweat, and tears formed the very backbone of our nation's rise to prosperity. Wonder why all the shop houses are concentrated on just one embankment of Boat Key? Well, legend has it that the Chinese immigrants chose to set up home only on the south bank of the river. You'll notice how the riverbank curves just like the belly of a carp. In Chinese culture, this majestic fish is an auspicious symbol of good fortune and a great place to store wealth. These first immigrants believed that this part of the Singapore River was where prosperity and wealth could be found. That's also why many banks and businesses started up here and eventually developed this area into our current central business district. Where once folks lined the water's edge, today the banks of Boat Key are lined with shop houses turned into restaurants and pubs. The facades of the Boat Key shop houses have been retained, and their unique architectural styles give the district a distinct flavor. Notice how the shop houses are of varying heights? Long ago, this signaled the owner's wealth. In other words, the higher the building, the wealthier the owner. Perhaps these traditional beliefs have extended till today. Just take a look at the tall skyscrapers of Singapore's financial district towering over the Boat Key shop houses. This is the perfect place for snapping pictures, so enjoy the 360 degree views and drink in Boat Key's unique blend of traditional Asian values set against a modern and progressive backdrop. See how the shop houses form a charming contrast of Singapore's developing years against the skyline of the new Singapore. This truly is a uniquely Singapore sight. By the way, are you feeling hungry? Authors and their push carts used to line the riverbanks, selling local dishes that were cheap and delicious. <laughs> of Teochew porridge cost only 10 cents. And better yet, side dishes were free of charge. Every day, the people who worked and lived at the river would eat at these push carts, sitting on little stools along the riverbanks. Perhaps that was how alfresco dining got its start in Singapore. <laughs> 